Hello, my sugar schnookumsies. It is time to review the Year Task Planner by Appointed after using it pretty much all year. So this American company creates beautiful paper products to help you spark creativity and put your best foot forward, according to their website. And yes, I was blown away by the design of their products, which are presented very nicely. The clean and simplistic vibe caught my attention immediately. And the products themselves, well, they seem to be very well made and designed. But I understand the planners are very personal. Our brains work differently and we all have specific planning needs. And that's why I want to share this very in-depth review of the Year Task Planner by Appointed. I hope my experience will help you either find the best planner or save you some money for 2022. Because these planners are pretty pricey and I am here to give you my honest opinion on whether the Year Task Planner is worth your hard-earned money. Let's go! Alright, let's jump into the review for the Year Task Planner. If you'd like to see pictures of this planner and if you want to find links on where to buy them, you can go to the first comment under this video. You can click on the link to my blog and that's where you will find pictures of this planner in action and you will also find links on where to buy it. So now we are really going to get into the nitty gritty of this planner. So I have the Year Task Planner in Lavender Grey. I have the 2021 edition, but I checked the website and the design seems to be unchanged for 2022. So you can use this review for your planner in the new year. When it comes to the rating, I am giving this planner a 6 out of 10 based on my own planning style. And if I were to give it a general rating, I would say I'd give this planner a 7 out of 10. Now let me explain why. I always like to check what a brand promises about a product and I got this quote on their website. It says, the signature appointed planner started it all. The year task planner is back for the 2022 calendar year, featuring a multi-view spread with a weekly overview and a full page for list making and note taking, laminated tabs for easy navigation and bound in our durable cotton book cloth. Ideal for professionals and designers, as well as students and parents. The Year Task Planner brings style and structure to your everyday plans. Some of the features are water-resistant book cloth cover, smooth premium 70 text weight stock, laminated monthly tabs, foil stamped cover, and brass wire o binding. So the price for this planner on the website of Appointed is $38, which is about 32 euros and 84 cents in Europe, depending on the currency at the time that you're buying. And also you will have to add some shipping costs because I had to import my year test planner from England from a shop that is no longer in business, unfortunately. So I had to add seven pounds and 50 cents. That's around 10 euros for shipping. So my planner ended up being over 40 euros, which is about $45, I guess. I quickly want to share something about why I bought this planner because that will explain my rating later on. So the reason why I bought this planner is because I saw Anna, which is also a YouTuber and she uh, puts up videos under the name The Anna Edit and I used to follow her for years um, and she was using this planner and raving about it in one of her videos and the planner looks very beautiful and handy and that's why I fell in love with it. The Minimal aesthetic and design is amazing. So I thought this would be the perfect planner for a business owner like me because it looks very grown up and I wanted to try something else after using Moleskine planners and Lurtune planners for years. I literally have like five Moleskine or even six Moleskine planners and then um, in 2019 I had a Lurtorium planner which is like a German brand. Love their products by the way. Anyway, this is about the appointed planner. So my brain works better when I can create a visual overview of all my tasks and appointments. I like knowing where everything goes and where to find it. And it seemed like this planner would give me all of that and more. So that's why I bought it. But what are the pros of this planner? Let's get into it. So in my opinion, this planner looks very nice, clean and simplistic. And the designs for the pages look very spacious and well-structured. 
The Year Task Planner by Appointed has a very clear setup. It has a year overview, a conversion chart, a space for your monthly goals, a month spread, including key holidays, a week and task spread, and a page for notes at the end of each month. I think people who bullet journal will probably recognize that this is kind of set up like the bullet journal method by writer Carol. And in my opinion, it's basically a pre-printed bullet journal. Nothing wrong with that, but just keep that in mind. Another thing that I like about this planner is that it has a very spacious setup of the pages, which works very well for my brain. Because if pages have unnecessary decorations or segments that I don't use, my brain starts having trouble with focusing. So what I like about this planner is that every month starts with a space for your monthly goals and important dates. And it's a really nice way to prioritize or set an intention for the upcoming month. I also like the monthly calendar for overview, although I wasn't able to use it during the lockdowns in the Netherlands this year. And there's also enough space for weekly priorities, tasks, and notes if you don't have too much going on. And I also like the laminated monthly tabs for quickly going back and forth in your planner. Paper quality is also very important, and I do like the paper they used for the year task planner. The paper is very smooth, it's very easy to write on, and most inks I've tried, they dried up quickly. I used a fountain pen, a regular rollerball pen, gel pens, and markers. And I haven't noticed any ghosting or annoying bleeding. Pens and markers only shine through a little bit when you hold the pages against the light. So let me show you which pens I used in this planner. All right, so these were the pros. And keep in mind that I'm giving you my opinion based on my planning style. And I'm also trying to keep in mind what the general public would like in a planner. So that's why I'm giving you a global overview of everything based on my experience with a little bit of thinking along with you. And for the cons, well, <laughs> I found more cons than pros. So let's dive into those. First of all, the quality of the cover is quite poor in my opinion. Yes, it looks nice, but after every trip to the office, the corners look worse. They bend quite fast, and I think that the year task planner by Appointed is too expensive to have such poor quality covers. I used this planner during the lockdowns in the Netherlands in 20. 20? <laughs> 2021, sorry. And the trips to the office were scarce, so the few trips that I did take damaged the covers enough for me to know that this planner wouldn't survive a normal year of daily travel in my Fjall Raven Kenken backpack. Because I do take care of all of my planners and I tuck them in safely in my backpack, but it didn't help with this one. The corners of the planner did really damage quickly. The second con is about the page designs, and I, if I pay $38 or 35 euros for a planner, the design better be good, and I find some flaws. So here we go. Uh, the second con is when you open the planner, there's no place to write down your name, address, or phone number in case you lose your planner. Now, I love the less is more concept because I'm a minimalist, but this bothers me to like no end because to me, a planner is my second brain, so if I were to lose it, I need to get it back ASAP. But if the person who finds it doesn't know to whom it should be returned, your planner will be lost forever. So yes, you can add your name and address to the planner yourself, but that could look ugly in a pretty design planner like this. So when it comes to design, I think they should have incorporated a space for contact information. And. Another design con is I think the Year Task Planner by Appointed is perfect for people who don't have too many daily appointments. As you can see in the, in the pictures and um, in the video footage, there are only five rules per day. So only five appointments can be written down before you have to find another place to write down meetings and such. So you can write down five meetings vertical and then you'd have to, I don't know, separate the page in half and then write the rest of your appointments on the side. But that's not working for my brain. So if that doesn't bother you, don't worry about it, but it does bother me. So to me, that's a design flaw. 
Um, for me, it ruins having a great overview of your daily appointments. So if I have busy days and I often have more than five appointments, it's just not working for me because it means I can only record my morning appointments in the Year Task Planner and then I have to use my Google Calendar for the ones in the afternoon. And that is very, uh, very annoying to me. <laughs> I wanted to say it's very appointing. No, it's very annoying. <laughs> so. There are two more design flaws I found, and yes, I'm being very picky, but hey man, if you're paying $38 for a planner, it better be good. So, this is me being picky. The brass wire doesn't match the gold shade they use for the foil stamped title on the cover. I know, but design flaws, <laughs> air quotes, flaws in air quotes, like that, they can bother me a lot. So I just wanted to point that out, that, you know, I just... I think they could do that a little bit better. <laughs> so these were the cons that I found in the appointed planner. And now it's time for the verdict. Because would I buy this planner again? Yay or nay? What do you think? <laughs> the verdict. Well, the year task planner by appointed looks beautiful. However, I have to be honest and say it's way too expensive for what you get in my opinion. I think you can get yourself a better designed and sturdier planner for less money. In this case, I really think you're paying for the brand name and the aesthetic. And there's nothing wrong with that, but if you're a heavy duty planner like me, the year test planner simply won't cut it. This planner has, for me personally, too much space for priorities, tasks, and notes for my planning style. And as an entrepreneur, I need more space for all my appointments. The Year Task Planner by Appointed simply doesn't have room for that. And if you travel a lot, this planner won't last very long. I'd go for a hardcover planner with a sturdy exterior. So, the big question. Would I buy the Year Task Planner by Appointed again? Absolutely not. <laughs> I love the style, the design, and the aesthetic, but this planner doesn't fit my life or planning style. So that's why I'm better off with a bullet journal I can customize or one of my favorite planners by Moleskine or Luchtorm. If you have a different job or lifestyle with less appointments, this planner will probably suffice. Leave it at home and it will be the shining star on your desk. I hope this year task planner review helps you figure out if this planner is for you. Feel free to ask me questions or drop your own experience in a comment down below. Your review based on your planning style will help others figure out if the year task planner by appointed is the right choice for them for the coming year. It is a pretty expensive planner and I think it's perfect for people who don't have too many appointments. but. As they sell this planner for people like designers, parents, and students, I feel like, especially parents and students, need way more space for appointments, especially if you, have, if you have kids or several classes. I don't know where you would leave it in the year task planner. Obviously, I'm very curious to hear what you think about this planner. Would you buy it for $38 or 35 euros? Let me know in a comment below. If this review was helpful in any way, shape or form, thumbs up this video and subscribe for more stationary reviews in the future. And I thank you so much for watching. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.